Good morning. Welcome to our SOAR meeting for this week. I decided to start doing our SOAR meetings um, on Mondays while we are in this distance learning setup for school. Um, I'm coming to you live from my garage. This is where this is where I will be having my work time. It gives me a little bit more privacy. I can shut the door and so I can have conversations that maybe I need to have without anybody hearing. Um, Ellie has my office and she's set up in there working right now. And uh, Cal is supposed to have the kitchen table. Um, that's being debated on right now as he's still in his room working. So... We'll see how that ends up. I'll keep you all posted. And then Hannah has our basement area for hers because she's all online with college right now. So we are together. I am honoring pajama day. So I have my robe and my slippers on today at work, which is weird. So um, yeah, we're in the, the middle of some really, really strange times, really uncharted waters. We have had some leaders at our school and our state do a wonderful job of making some really hard decisions for us to stay safe and to stay healthy and to hopefully make this so it's not something that drags on for a, a super long time. Um, we just don't know how long, right? So, um, yeah, our normal was kind of taken from us pretty quickly. Um, which is hard. So some days, um, some hours, some minutes, I guess, I do really, really well. I, I have, I'm filled with hope. Um, I'm doing things that I wouldn't normally uh, get done because we're normally running and busy and, and, and doing things and um, reading a book, uh, you know, sitting down to read a book, um, cleaning things in my house that needed to be cleaned, that kind of stuff. And so sometimes I'm doing all right because I get to get some of that stuff done and then all of a sudden it hits me and I'm not doing all right. I'm sad and, and maybe even scared, but most of all, I, I, like, I miss seeing all of your faces um, in the hallways. I miss having my made-up national hug days. <laughs> um, yeah, I miss I miss all of you. I miss our staff. I miss our students. Um, and we just we don't know how long this is gonna last, right? And so I'm just finding ways to to make this my new normal um, until life can get back to the way that it used to be. It, it makes me um, so I kind of wonder, I guess how much we just took for granted in our everyday life. You know, I think of the times that I heard kids say, oh, I don't want to be in school. And now I'm having kids that are emailing saying, I just, I miss the people. Like people that I didn't realize um, were a big part of my life. I miss our conversations that we would have um, in sixth period. You know, I didn't talk to them much outside of school, but I sure miss having that conversation with, that person during that class. So I miss you. I know that your teachers and your principals um, miss you. I haven't been in the school now for a few days, but when I'm there, it's weird and it makes me sad and it's quiet, too quiet. So we are going to be all online right now, right? So this week, um, is kind of like a practice week, right? So we get to see what works really well and what doesn't work because you weren't trained for this kind of, of learning and your teachers were not trained for this kind of teaching, right? So we're all kind of in this boat on uncharted waters and we're seeing what works and we're seeing what doesn't, okay? So this week is, is really a, a great big practice week and I need you all to get on board and do the work um, so that we know what works, okay? So um, next week at this time and then who knows how long after, um, we're going to move from reteaching and review 
to your teachers will start teaching you new new stuff. It'll get a little bit tougher. You'll have to spend a little bit more time. So um, Ellie just told me, ah, I finished my history stuff. Um, next week, she might not get done with it that quickly. So don't assume just because something only took you a little bit of time this week that that's going to be the case next week. So set up your day, set up your routine so that you're, you have that space, space to work. Um, take breaks, right? Um, but make sure you have that time. Like, this is what I'm going to work. What I want from my own children is for them to be um, at a desk doing their work um, for sure the latest, like nine in the morning, so that when we do go back, um, they're they're still conditioned to get up. Um, Ellie's totally cool with this. Cal's not so happy with me right now, but that's okay. Um, plan book, lesson book on our school website. That's where you're going to go to find out what your teacher wants you to do for that day. Okay, so. Um, Mr. Remix is the one I'm going to use for example because I had I emailed a student this morning about his lessons in applied math. So um, if you go to our website and you go to lesson plans, it's in the left hand corner, and you click on lesson plans, it will have a list of your teachers, right? So you just go there and they'll have your days and your classes planned out for the rest of the week. And if there's YouTube videos or if they've made videos or things like that, you're going to find it there. Um, some teachers will have you meet in groups on team. Ms. Habaker already reached out to one of her ed classes. They're going to be meeting in a team meeting. I've reached out to seniors. We're going to be meeting today at 3 in a team video chat, okay? So, so some teachers will be doing things like that. I sent out a form. Um, it went out on our school website. Um, it went out on our school Facebook. It's on my Facebook. I will post it on the, the Stanley School Counseling Instagram page. Um, this is, is a way for you to get a hold of me if you need to during this time, if you if you need to chat. I have a one through five rating scale. A one is, you know what, I just have a quick question. It's not a big deal. Get a hold of me when you can. A three is, it's a little bit more urgent. Um, and then a five is, I really seriously need to figure out a way to talk to you. Um, that form is there. Or you can email me. Um, I've had students that have been emailing me with questions. It's completely fine. I also have, um, you can DM me on... Instagram on the on the Stanley School Counseling Instagram page. You can DM me there. Um, I have the School Counseling Facebook. You can message me there. Um, I also have a, a a phone that I will be using during the day. So this is my um, phone. It will be I will be right by this phone, ready to answer or text or whatever from um, eight o'clock until four o'clock. Um, my number is 701-621-0044, so 701-621-0044. That number is on the form also at the top that I sent out. Um, it's important for you guys to, to reach out during this time to each other, to teachers, to um, trusted adults in your life, aunts, uncles, grandparents, um, older siblings, cousins, friends. It's its really important for you to stay connected. Um, my family and I did a Zoom meeting last week with my, my sister from Bismarck was on, and then my sister, Mrs. Sandine, and her family here was on. My mom and dad here in Stanley, they were on. And then Mrs. Essler and her family, they were on. And then my family was on. And so we all hung out and talked. Um, my nieces in Bismarck haven't met Mrs. Essler's little baby Dexton yet. Um, so we all kind of hung out, talked and laughed. The kids um, danced and uh, the little kids danced and had fun. Um, so I invite you, you with your K-12 account, you can Zoom. You can use Zoom for free right now. Uh, FaceTime people. Go get into Google Hangouts. Um, Snapchat each other. But stay, stay kind. Um, try to stay positive, uh, but reach out. Um, I, I would like to give you a mission this week. Um, it's Mission Monday. So I, would, I, I challenge you to add some magic into your week 
through photos of everyday things in your life, okay? So it can be anything, but like take a break and um, walk around your yard. Uh, things that you would have taken for granted before that now you see because your life has slowed down. Um, today, I'll show you my picture. I'll post it on my Instagram and Facebook. Uh, it's one of our succulents that we have out here in the garage. Um, I, I love I love plants and um, I love succulents. And these are ones that Ellie had done. So find some pictures, post them, try to do that every day. Um, it's just magic through things in our everyday life that maybe we didn't see before. So open your eyes to some cool things around you. I know on one of the websites they had like a picture of a puddle. Um, they had a picture of, it looks like just um, like the top of a building with something on it. Yeah, a chair. Oh, they put a chair on the top of a building and took a picture. So just things like that. Cool things that you see in your day. Um, I already had recorded one whole video and I ended with the high school musical song, We're All In This Together, because I feel like that's our theme song. I even danced a little bit. It was like if you were walking past my office on a Friday, I would have been dancing with the music playing. But it's copyright infringement, so I couldn't post it. So my kids are happy that I wasn't dancing in this sore video, but I think you guys would miss it. So I invite you also to look up the song, We're All In This Together, because wherever you are, Whatever you're doing, we all are navigating a new path, all right? So know this. Know that not just me from Stanley High School, but all of your teachers, all of the staff, all of the principals, everybody misses you. We love you, and we can't wait to see you. Have a great week.